Welcome to this lesson where I will be going through Pythagoras in 3D. Now the example in front of me here, or behind me rather, uh, and in front of you, um, is this uh, cuboid. So we are asked to find the length between A and G. Okay, so we are told that A to B is 5 centimeters, B to C is 7 centimeters, A to E, which is up here, uh, 3 centimeters. Calculate the length of A to G. Now, I want you to picture, I want you to imagine the room that you are sitting in right now. Um, it's most likely a cuboid, a 3D shape. And I want you to picture one end of the ceiling, okay, one corner of the ceiling. And then I want you to go diagonally across the room and go down to the other end of the room and on the bottom. Okay, so that will have a diagonal line going across the room in 3D. Now, from that line, I want you to go across the floor and back towards where you came from, okay? So, to back to the other end of the room, and then up. What you should now imagine in your head is a triangle, okay? Now, this triangle should have a right angle, and the right angle is over there in the corner. Now, I'm going to show you that on here. So, what you should have imagined is, like I said, is imagine one corner of the room. So, one corner of the room is here. Go across... Go down to the other corner, on the other end of the room, and then along the floor, like that. And then back up. And you should have a right angle triangle right there, okay? Now, if we draw this right angle triangle separately, it should look like this. So if we label it A, G, and C, that should be our triangle. Now, we know the length of G and C, or C and G, is going to be the same as A to E, okay, because they are on opposite ends. So we can write here 3 centimeters. We are trying to work out the length of A to G, okay, that's what the question says, find the length of A to G. So we can give that for now an X, it's unknown. What we don't know is this length across the floor. We don't know that. And this is where 3D Pythagoras comes in, because you will now need to use another diagram, another triangle, to find the length of A to C along that floor. And in order to do that, if you draw this in a different color pencil, you can see what's going on. A to B and B to C is another right angle triangle, with the right angle being right there. So I'll be drawing that triangle on the bottom here separately. So another right angle triangle, um, it doesn't matter the orientation. Okay, so here's my right angle. Um, this is going to be D, this is going to be A, and this is going to be C. Now, on this right angle triangle, I know B to C is 7 centimeters. So, 7 centimeters there. I know that A to B is 5 centimeters. So, 5 centimeters there. I can now find A to C. Okay, so A to C, I'll give it a different letter because I've already used um, X earlier, so I'll give it a Y. These are the two triangles, so the plan is as follows. I'm going to find the distance here, A to C, which is Y here, which is going to be the distance here. After I find the distance of A to C, I'm going to take my value of A to C, and I'm going to put it down here, which is missing. Then I will have two values, and I will use Pythagoras again to find the third side. Okay, and I'm going to do that over on the whiteboard. Okay, so we're on the whiteboard now. I've redrawn everything so that you can see the 3D shape along with the 2D shapes. And um, I'm going to work on the first triangle. Now, just to remind you, this triangle here, A, B, C, is on the bottom, on the floor. Okay, so this is this triangle right here. I'm going to be finding the length of A to C here. So A to C would be what I've called Y here. And then once I've found that A to C, I'm going to transfer it to this uh, triangle and this diagram. And then this diagram represents that bigger triangle that goes across the room and up, our 3D triangle, okay? So here we go. So what are we going to do? We're going to label our triangle. Remember, this is the most important side, C, and this can be A and this can be B. And I'm going to be applying Pythagoras' theorem. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We know that A is 7, so 7 squared. B is 5, so 5 squared is equal to C squared. Now, what we can say is that AC, which I previously had labeled as Y, okay, it's probably easier and just more helpful to call it AC squared, 
okay? But we can call it y squared or even c squared if we wanted to. So uh, 7 squared is 49 plus 5 squared, which is 25, and that's our ac squared. We add 49 plus 25, which is 74, so ac squared is 74. But we want ac, so we are going to square root 74, so therefore ac is equal to the square root of 74, and then we can do that on our calculator, the square root of 74, and we get AC as 8 point, uh, if I round it, 8.621 decimal place. Okay, now you don't have to round it. You, if you want to keep your answer more accurate, then you might want to just transfer root 74 here as well, instead of 8.6. But um, it won't be too much of a difference if we had rounded our answer and just wrote down 8.6. Okay, so 8.6 centimeters is our length of A to C, which is, once again, to remind you, across the floor. And we are working out this triangle here in our 3D shape. Right, so once again, let's apply our Pythagoras theorem to this. Uh, we can call this A, we can call this B, and we can call this C. So we have um, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And we have A as 8.6 squared plus B as uh, 3 squared. Hope you can see the text here. If not, I'll write this in black. So 8.6 squared plus uh, 3 squared equals. Now, once again, you can call it c squared, you can call it x squared if you like, because that's what it's labeled at, or you can call it ag squared. Okay, I think it's probably better to call it ag squared because the question did say find length a to g. Okay, right, so we're going to work this out on our calculators now. So 8.6 squared gives us 73.96. 3 squared is 9, and that gives us AG squared. We add them together, so plus 9, that gives us 82.96. So that's AG squared. Once again, we want AG, the length AG. So we are going to square root our answer, 82.96. So we want AG, we're going to square root the answer. So AG would be, on our calculators, the square root of 82.96 is 9.10823 dot 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 and some other numbers. Now, if you go back to the question, the question did say um, to give your answer to three significant figures. So if you have a look at this, our significant figures, we've got one, two, three. This is our three significant figures, but because the number next to the last significant figure, the zero, is the number next to that is an eight, we are going to increase this by one. So our final answer is going to be 9.11 centimeters. And that is three significant figures. Hope you've enjoyed that lesson. Um, Pythagoras' theorem in 3D works in exactly the same way for whatever questions. Um, you always have to find the triangles on the different planes, uh, find the missing lengths, and then add to the final triangle that you're looking to find the lengths for. However, usually the Pythagoras' theorem and trigonometry go hand in hand. So when, by the time it's time to answer those um, exam questions, then you need to make sure that you know trigonometry and Pythagoras really, really well and recognize when you need to use which one. Look out for uh, my future video on trigonometry. I'll be doing that very soon and I'll see you in the next lesson.